his floor, I mean, his floor's got to be eight. You don't want to give a floor of 10, but his floor's got to be eight touchdowns, nine touchdowns. BRB Blazer. Yeah, yeah so I MCL. this kind of popped up on oh, uh, right, the sleeper right. bot. It said that Kamara played with a torn MCL. You know, obviously he got hurt. I can't remember what week it was. Week like six, three, four, four, five, yeah. something like that. And then he missed a couple games, but he came back. But it just wasn't Alvin Kamara. You know, he wasn't putting up those Alvin Kamara numbers that you wanted. I mean, I know me personally in one of our leagues, PPR leagues, I took Kamara as the number one pick overall. I took him over Saquon. I took him over Zeke. I took him over Christian McCaffrey. It ended up being the wrong decision. But, I mean, at the end of the day, fantasy football, you know, sometimes it's all about people, you know, players risk. you want to root for. And, you know, for two years, two straight years, I saw Kamara just light it up, you know, being this electric playmaker, putting up, you know, what was I think it was 13 touchdowns Stupid. and 18 touchdowns. Yeah. So, especially in PPR leagues, I mean, Three straight years of 81 receptions. So his floor is 81 receptions, and his ceiling is 81 receptions. receptions. So you know you're locked in for that. So I mean, I just you know you know a guy who was on a high-powered offense with the Saints. You know, I took a shot on him. Obviously, he got banged up, but I mean, you kind of look at it. I guess the reason why he was he wasn't you know putting up those crazy numbers like he did his uh, first and second year was because he was playing with a torn MCL. Um, but it's just crazy. I mean, he still put up over 1,300 total yards. So it's just like, okay, like now this guy, you know, obviously had surgery. He's, he's going to be healthy coming into the year. It's just crazy to think, like, what do you think he can do now, you know, that he's going to be 100% healthy again? I mean, his floor, I mean, his floor has got to be eight. You don't want to give a floor of 10, but his floor has got to be eight touchdowns, nine touchdowns. So, I mean, you would think, especially with the offense, Drew Brees getting a little older, but like we were talking earlier, Sean Payton for the offseason literally was like, we don't even need an offseason program. The only person that got an offseason program was Emmanuel Sanders. Everybody else are like, you're good. You already know the plays. You're chilling. Everybody else is back. So when you when you have that kind of like cohesiveness when you're, with your offense, you just need him to get healthy. I mean, he should be slated for 1,500, 1,600 total yards and 10 touchdowns. Yeah. I, I mean, if, if healthy, I mean. Yeah. I, that's what I would put him on. So I mean, he he should be back. I, I don't see him getting less than. I mean, what he he had a bad year and had seven touchdowns, six touchdowns. I mean, there's no reason why he shouldn't get you at least ten. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean. Whether it's five and five at the minimum. Yeah, I mean, his rookie year he had a six point four percent touchdown rate in 2017. I think he had like 13, 18, one of those years, 13, 18 touchdowns. The next year, again, 6.5, so Stupid. pretty consistent. The next year, last year, 2.4%, so he dropped to 4% in terms of his touchdown rate. I would like to think that the regression goes back to the mean of that 6.5% area or 6% area. Um, so, yeah, and if he's going to get that, he's definitely going to get you 12 touchdowns. Is like that. I think his floor is 12 touchdowns yeah. if he's 100% healthy. I mean, I, I love Alvin Kamara. He's, he's my number four right now, just behind – you know, CMC, Saquon, and um, Zeke. You know, I'm, I'm, I don't, I, you know, I know a lot of players. You know, some people might have, you know, Derrick Henry or even Dalvin Cook up there. But yeah, Kamara's my four. He's locked and loaded right there. I, you know, I can't imagine a scenario where one of these other players leap, leap like leapfrogs him and jumps forward to him. You know, yeah. if I'm in the four spot and, and he's there, I'm taking him 100. percent Yeah, and, and you're gonna have the naysayers that are like, well, his, you know, the one thing that was alarming was his uh, yards per catch dropped down two whole two whole yards each year. So it went from 10.2, 8.7 to one and a half, and then he went to 6.6. .6. So he did drop two yards, but I mean, he's hurt. So I mean, you're still gonna get 81 catches, 533 yards. He's he's gonna get better. He's still young. So to do that with a you know whether it was a partially torn MCL or a torn MCL, I mean the the uh, the the touchdown progression should should definitely go up. So you you pre I, I would say you caught Kamara last year at like a floor. Yeah, I mean my guy is in a contract here too. So yeah, if he wants to get paid, if he wants to get that, you know what are the running backs getting now? Like fifteen million. You know he's trying to get that Zeke, million, that Zeke yeah, money. Yeah, Zeke money. You know if he wants to get that. 14, 15, you know, we could see a crazy deal with Kamara gets paid where he becomes the highest paid player over Christian McCaffrey, you know, some crazy deal like For four sure. years, 64 million or something stupid like that. But yeah, I do think he gets paid and I think, I think Kamara bounces back in a big way and you know, puts up some crazy good numbers for you and your fantasy team. So buy low on Alvin Kamara this year. Yep. I mean, I mean, if he gets hurt, I mean, that's not, you know, that's not up to you exactly. But I mean, if, if healthy, he's, he's that guy. Yeah. So. All right. Well, ah, uh, man, that clip was informative, huh? Well, there's plenty more right here if you click that. Also, go ahead and subscribe right there. Here we blazer.